Well, good morning, afternoon, and evening. Again, social media, we are back. Soldiers on Fire for Christ. We're on our monthly meeting. This is our monthly meeting greet session. We have this session every Tuesday, the last Tuesday of each month, whether it's the fifth, the fourth or the fifth Tuesday. And we are here. Platform is open to meet any guests that chooses to join us and we want to thank you we want to thank you thank you for those that will view this and hopefully the next time next month that you will be able to contact any of the leadership team to um give us your email and come and meet us y'all need to know who groups and who you sitting with and fellowshipping and all that good stuff amen and so our soldiers on fire for christ Leadership team consists of myself, Pastor Teresa Vini, Apostle Robin Raleigh, Elder Marshall Jenkins, Minister Rose Christine Jackson, Minister Isaiah Robinson, Minister Von Sada Simmons, and Brother Bud Dillon. Amen. And we are all here, different states, Baltimore, Maryland, Michigan, Florida, Georgia, and Ohio. So that covers everybody. Okay. But, um, we love... Um, we love God's people, and you are free and welcome and to come and just sit with us. We welcome everyone. You know, we don't no matter where you're from, we welcome everyone. And so I know some of you are in different time zones, but still, you know, mm -hmm. I prayfully hope that you will make an effort to come and meet with us one day just to talk and fellowship and all that good stuff. Amen. Mm -hmm. So I know some people hopefully will be joining us we've sent out links too but if not as always we just like family it's an open forum discussion and so you know most of the leaders are here in the virtual uh, classroom and we just want to say again welcome 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 and hopefully futurely welcome those that will watch this recording and hopefully you will decide to come and meet with us maybe next month but we do have the meet and greet sessions for Soldiers on Fire for Christ every fourth and fifth Tuesday of the month. So it's no excuse. Amen. Even though here at Soldiers, we have a Bible study every Thursday at 7 p.m. We also have, um, I'm sorry, we have the prayer call. We have a prayer call Thursday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And then we have Bible study for two nights, Friday and Saturday at uh, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And then every other month, we have a men and women's combined panel discussion. And then every Thursday, um, opposite, you know, with every Thursday of the month besides, well, it's alternate months. We all, is alternate months because we have a men panels discussion. We have a women's panel discussion. And then we have the men and women combined together. So they alternate months. But you can also come over Soldiers on Fire for Christ and uh, look at the advertisement and to know when the dates will be. And hopefully you'll be able to be willing to join us for any of those events that, we'll, that we have here. So especially to meet us, the meet and greet is one-on-one, -on -one, but we still would love for you to come out for either the prayer call on Thursday at 7 p.m. or Bible study Friday and Saturday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, unless otherwise for the other events of the men panel discussion, which is on the third Saturday. The women's panel discussion is on the fourth Saturday. The, the combined is every other month. Like I said, that's normally on the third. And then also uh, once a month, every month on the third Sunday at 3 p.m., Elder Marshall Jenkins has our, our Soldiers on Fire for Christ worship experience. You need to come out and, um, you know, Get a get you know get what the worship experience is all about. Never want to leak that God is doing a new thing. Old things are passing away. Old things are becoming new. And so we would love for you to join us for the worship experience as well. And so with all of that being said, wanted to get all of that out of the way. And one more thing, also, if you've led by the Lord, Soldiers on Fire for Christ, we are partnered with Saint Jude to help these children and their families as they are battling these, you know. Uh, diseases, illnesses, even some of them are born with it. Some of them are um, eventually, it's like a genetics thing. Like they may not get it right at the beginning, but, and then some just, so we're helping, we're partnering with St. Jude's to raise, our goal is to raise a million dollars. Now a million dollars is not a lot of money. It's really not. 
but um, it's all about how you look at it. But if you're looking at money as your God, of course, you think that it's a lot of money. But also, you need to go further because these are for the children. It's not for us. And so here at Soldiers on Fire for Christ, we're advertising. And when you come and see the advertisement that we have for Soldiers on Fire for Christ, there is a link that you click on and you can donate any amount that you want. But hopefully you will continue to donate to help us to reach the goal of a million dollars. Also, we always make it known that we do not uh, get any portions of the money. We're just partnered with St. Jude to raise to meet this goal. And the reason that we say this is because we know a lot of you has been manipulated when it comes to the area of money. Some of you have been in organizations and churches that have... Um, the leadership had lied to you, scam you out of money. We don't play them type of games here at Soldiers on Fire for Christ. You know, God is the head of our life and we strive to be obedient. So we're not out to take your money, but we would like for you to talk to God and hopefully the Holy Spirit will put it on your heart to give the minimum. So, so um, I'm sorry, St. Jude is accepting the minimum of $5. Everybody, God told me everybody on earth got $5. That what he said. So take it up with him. He said that. So um, uh, think about it. Pray about it for those of you. If you truly have a heart for children, if you really don't mind giving up that cup of coffee money once in a while, you know, um, and you can give more than one time and you can give anonymously if you like, because once you click on the link, it'll take you through the process of filling out the online application and putting in your information. And because once you um, fill it all out, St. Jude, not soldiers, St. Jude will be the one to send you an email confirmation thanking you for your donation. So you can send $5 and then there's a spot that'll say, you know, other, you can send more than that, but also we're striving. We're hoping that, you know, the Holy spirit will help you, will lead you and unction you to make it a consistent thing because we're trying to reach a million dollars. Am I concerned about that? Nope. Cause God said, we're going to reach it. Now, when we're going to do it, that's the, you know, that's the thing, but um, uh, please think about being partners with us to raise this for the children, because I know if it's any of your children, you would want people to sincerely help yours. And so some of you, your children might be there. So letting you know that we are striving to get this money so that you don't have to be stressed out when you have to deal with medication or taking them to therapy or the cost of, you know, if they have to stay there, the housing costs because hospital stays is expensive. And also, the, if they use an hospital equipment, it's expensive. And so uh, just letting you know out there, social media, Soldiers on Fire for Christ, we are striving. And we will, because we because we we know what our God said. Amen. We know what our God said. We're going to reach this million dollars. As a pastor, I just want it done and over with because the children deserve it. This shouldn't be something that should be dragged out for a long time. Because technically, all the years we've been on earth, all of us spent a million dollars in your lifetime. You total up everything that you've ever bought over the past 10 years, everything, every bill you got. Trust me, you've reached a million dollars before. Amen. So with that being said, the leadership team is here. If they want to introduce themselves, they can. The floor is open. But before we even get that far, let me open us up in prayer first. And then guess what? I'm letting them out on you, social media. And we are all yours. But let us pray first. Heavenly Father, again, I come to you this time. We thank you for bringing us together again for another meet and greet session you know, to get to know the people, Lord God, that you entrust us with and those that you have unctioned their spirits so that they can be connected to us and that we can trust each other and help one another and encourage one another. But most importantly, Lord, we thank you for waking us up this day and our family members and friends and getting us through this day because we know many didn't wake up and many didn't make it to this time. And so we thank you and we don't take it for granted. So Lord, as your platform is open. However you want to use any of us, Lord God, we are honored and we thank you. And those that will, you know, may view this video, Lord God, you know, we thank you for the, their time and their life. And hopefully they will 
get something or you will show yourself mightily to get that they will get something that will help them in their walk and being closer unto you so that they can be what you created them to be and not what the world and people think that they should be. And so, Lord, we honor you. So come and sit with us, Lord God, and lead in God as Holy Spirit have your way in and through us because we all decrease so that you can increase. And we praise and honor you for it. And we're just so grateful for who you are and for you to still love us like you do. So, Lord, our ears are to your lips. We love you. You are always welcome. And we praise you for it all now. In Jesus' name, amen. The floor is open, family. How is everyone? What's going on? Anything on your heart and mind? Anything. You know, something, cause if something ain't look right. If it didn't quack like a duck, let's talk about that. What could it be? God bless. God bless. God bless. First of all, I am Elder Marshall Jenkins, resident here in Flint, Michigan, born in Chicago, Illinois. I thank God for the weather that we have here in Michigan. It might not be hot, but we got some weather. We got some good little weather going on. I'm very surprised here in Michigan that we ain't got the snow like we ought to. And I'm, I'm hoping it hurry up and come so it can get on out the way because the longest, the longest belong, the longest gonna stay around. I just want to thank God for giving me another opportunity to be here with the family and to to, to encourage one another, to shop with one another. We cannot do this journey by ourselves. We need each other on this journey. And I thank God for the family that he has placed me under. And I just want to tell Pastor, thank you for the courage for the, for the message that you have brought forward. You know, you had it going on, girl. You had it going y'all on. Y'all don't know. Y'all held my hand. Y'all held my arms up I'm to tell you, I, had, I told my pastor we had to let, because see, normally... Social media, this is something that happened Sunday. Um, now, Minister Rose witnessed it. She witnessed the seven o'clock crowd. They little, they little quiet, wasn't it, Minister Rose? And it was like at least 15 to 20 people on. 12 o'clock crowd, everybody shows up. You got about 30, almost 35, 40. And I was impressed. When I tell you that the 12 o'clock bunch, the atmosphere, because normally it's a lot going on, I would have to come in, try to calm everybody down. So I guess it was, you know, God. And then for y'all support, everything went smoothly. But what was the shocker uh, was uh, when me and the other mother was talking is that I'm like, okay, because they have a test that testimony, you know what I'm saying, that section. All of a sudden, Elder Marshall saying, Apostle, now everybody in Christ, everybody wants to sing, everybody wants to testify. What is it? I'm like, okay, they trying something. I was, I, we were impressed, but it was shocking, like, because they don't normally do that. That was the Holy Spirit, even the mother. What? They don't normally sing over there like that, they really don't. I was like, well, Pastor Teresa, seven o'clock, they had me going before you got on the side. The mothers, they, hey, how you doing, baby? And then what okay. came on? They like to go. Oh, well, I gotta go to the bathroom. Well, I think you better go and go to the bathroom before we get started. That was funny. See, they, yeah, they, they, they get to talking, but when the sing, that's what they do. But mm -hmm. the singing, what is it was shock. And I was like, okay, it was like a domino effect. And everybody was like, who's that man? And then she's like, who that man? So that's why I said I knew that was going to happen because they didn't get to start the chanting. Hey, what's your name? And they just start talking, and then it took yeah. longer for me to get in to try to give the word. So that's why I just went and injected and said, Oh, that's one of my leaders, you know, my elder mother. Okay, then here come apostle. Then that's you know, you heard the other lady. I said, Okay, now I said, Now everybody wants to day go sing, and I'm trying to give the word. And yeah. and uh, mother Fry, I was just a giggling, like, This is new. I said, I know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I met, wait a minute, it was Mother Gertrude, it was a Mother yep. Ross, a Mother Davis. Mother Brock, everybody want to sing. Everybody else like that, Yeah, I met, I met them before you got on the line when they waiting on you to get on the line. Right, they <laughs> had to merge me in. I, but they, they, they just as family like we are, but it was just funny because they don't do <laughs> Yeah, they, they like to talk. They That's why I knew they were to talk to you. They would like to talk. So I was like, they the, down the earth. They didn't care what they said, too. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 see, you experience because that's a seven o'clock. But twelve, you see the 12. But see, it must was Elder Marshall and Apostle. 
because y'all set the tone. Normally, it don't be like. That's why I was like, whoo, this is so smooth. And my at first, my body was aching. I was like, but then as you know, I heard somebody else start singing and they, the Holy Ghost was filling up. You know, the Holy Spirit was just, I said, oh, I said, Bum it, it up, had huh? to be a domino effect. They come over singing. Now everybody want to testify. And want to, I got a song. I got a song. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like little kids. I got a song. And so that's, we that's laughed. How you, that's them, how you start I thank God for y'all. Well, yes, let me, let me finish catch your fire from the other one. Mm -hmm. Hey, man, let me finish checking in. And uh, I had mentioned to y'all about the young man. And by the grace of God, I, uh, yes. I was informed that uh, he started to take steps. So yes. my God, God is good. Amen. 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 So, the doctor all said one thing, but we know how our God is. Yes. So Amen. he's taking steps and things. And so that's that's a good report. Besides Amen. everything going good, um, getting myself Amen. ready to put this other hour, put these hours in and things. They tried to take my young man from me <clears throat> that work up under me. They cut his hours all the way down to 20 hours. Oh, wow. And, uh, so I had to, cal I had to uh, 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 calculate and, and, and organize how I could get him in to work him on my truck days because I get three trucks a night. I get a truck on Monday night. I get a truck on Wednesday night and I get a truck on Friday nights. But the two biggest trucks, that's what I need them on Mondays and Fridays and on the weekends. So I work them six hours on Monday, six hours on Fridays and four hours on uh, Saturday and Sunday. So that way I can have the weekend off mm -hmm. uh, so I can rest my body on the weekends. Mm -hmm. So besides that, everything going good, kids going do good. good. My younger, my oldest son, I tore up two cars traveling on the highway. Sound like mine. He, he <laughs> crashed his Cadillac. He had a Cadillac. He crashed that. Hit a hit an ice spot and tore up the Cadillac. Then he bought him a truck, and uh, I guess he hit another spot somewhere driving on that highway and tore up the truck. So now he carless. So uh, one of my car workers. <laughs> Selling the Nissan Blazer for four thousand dollars. So I told my son about it last night and, and and took some pictures of it. So maybe by the grace of God, he'll able to come up to get that get that uh, Blazer so he can get back and forth to work. Praise so, God for spending his life. Week. I'm like, good gracious! I'm like, he tearing up these cars. Tell him slow mm. down. <laughs> right, right. 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 By the grace of God, he's still here. He he's still here. Out, Tell him slow he's down. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm. Minister, Minister Isaiah. Okay. Of course. Um, Minister Isaiah Robson from Lakeland, Florida, by way of Newark, New Jersey, and born in Rockham, North Carolina. I um I was running this pretty much this weekend. I'm sorry I missed um Sunday thing, but uh, I know it was good because uh, Rose was so jolly. He was still jolly when I came in. She's just a little happy little thing when I came in about that. Yeah, she was. Yeah, she explained it to me more. She, you, y'all had her spirit was high. Yeah, so I know it was good. I hated I missed that. Um, while I'm on this, um, I have a friend that found I had just with, with stomach cancer. Um, William Marshall is his name, so just keep him in your prayer. Yes, yes. Um, you know, and I have a spiritual question to ask because uh, somebody asked me, and I can I should have been able to separate it from him for for him. But um, okay, what's the difference between that. what's the difference between the Holy Spirit and the Holy Ghost? I had somebody ask me that too. They the same. They're the same. It's, 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 I mean, it's, that, it's, that's, it's, that's it's, 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 a, it's a name. Yeah, just a different it's terminology. Yeah. yeah. Okay, that's what I was thinking now, about. The whole well, school people say Holy Ghost. Okay. The, 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 if you look at the time, mm. make from mm. the, from, I'm going to say, mm, the six, what, from the 70s or 60s up, we say Holy Spirit. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Okay. We can't say Holy Ghost up until the yeah. 80s. 
And if yeah. you look at the King James Version, it says Holy Ghost in certain places. It depends yeah. on who's right, right. Who's talking. I'm about saying, person. Somebody, um, a, a sister asked me not too long ago because mm -hmm. somebody was telling her that there was a difference between the Holy Ghost and the Holy Spirit. I said, no, nah, ain't no difference. Ain't no difference. And she said, that's what I thought, but they was uh, insisting the that there was a difference. No, it ain't. It ain't no, it ain't no difference. They, 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 they the same. It, just like, just like we just like we call God the Father, we call him Jehovah Jireh, Jehovah Nisi, Jehovah mm -hmm. same per same thing, same person. Mm -hmm. right. Just like I'm Pastor Teresa, I'm Aunt Weezy to my mm -hmm. nieces and nephew, same person. Different Amen. type, same person, got nicknames for family. So don't even try the world, you know, all that wanna be this is don't try to get all deep social media, whoever out there no. Mm -hmm. Holy Spirit, Holy Ghost, they are one. It's okay, okay. to call him the Holy Ghost or okay. you can call him Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. Amen. Same, same, and he's, he's part of the Trinity. One. Okay. It's only three parts mm -hmm. of the Trinity. The Father, mm -hmm. the Son, the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. So we Amen. Don't, don't, don't fall for that. That's the bait yeah. of Satan. Don't fall for that bait. Yeah. But they yeah. are one. It's no yeah. difference. I thought, so you know I heard a long time ago though? When I, when I asked that question when I was younger, I remember asking now. The, the guy said the Holy Ghost were said if you have services somewhere near near um, a grave site. And when you're praying like that, you're calling up the uh, spirits from the grave. That's and, a lie. I ain't never heard of such <laughs> stuff. That's why I tell you. They will be like. Yeah, yeah. Oh, but no, I no. I'm, we marry people. We call them spirits. That, yeah, that's but that's the Holy that's, Ghost. That's, that's why I tell people to read and study and find out for yourself because you find anything on YouTube and stuff like that. Uh -huh. But he was, but he was saying something like, you know, that's like you calling up the Holy Spirit, spirits of the dead, and he he was saying something about um, how did it go so long ago? That when you start talking in tongues in that situation, that be the spirits from where you have your sermons at, and you're closer to a grave site. I heard all kinds of mess going up, but but I never ate. I never took it that way, you know. But I'm just saying Maybe. the different yeah. things people throw at you. So I'm good for you. Tell me, so I'm gonna go look it up and anyway. But yeah, but that's one thing I heard. Some but, need yeah, Young. but these, it's dangerous. A lot of people fall for it. They won't try to look and find out things. They don't get like that. Okay. 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 That's that's been with us now until when Jesus yeah. comes back, and y'all need to social media. Y'all need to acknowledge him. Mm -hmm. Trust me, he does a lot. Mm -hmm. Even though the and the Bible mentions, but you have to discern. Uh, he does a lot, even mm -hmm. though it's no the way the Bible like quote unquote stories. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Because he's one with the the Trinity, but he does right now because he's with us. And and oh, he do he doing a whole lot. He is when Jesus left, he been working it out since over two thousand years. And he's still doing what he needs to do in God's uh, children. Brother Bud? You on mute, Brother Bud? There, can you hear me? Yep, we can hear Coming you. in clear? Good. Yes, sir. I'd like to, I'd like to introduce myself. Uh, my name is Bud Dillon, Brother Bud. Your video and is on. We been... can't see you. Oh. Sorry. I'll get it right one of these days. There we, there we are. How's that? Amen. Yeah. Praise God. I'm glad today to be part of the Soldiers on Fire for Christ family. Uh, we had counseling the other day with our leaders, and it was just absolutely mind-blowing. And the love that I felt, I haven't felt in a long, long time Praise from the God. church, from the wanting to grow in God. Uh, I was born in Cleveland, Ohio. I was raised really in Florida, in Fort Lauderdale. I came up here when I was 25. And uh, my wife and two children, we came up here when I was 25 years old. I've been here since ever since. I worked in a factory for 37 years, nonstop, hardly missed a day in 37 years. It was amazing. And I was always grateful to walk into that job because the Spirit of God was working in my heart way back when I accepted the Lord when I was 21 years old and I've had some ups and downs but you know what the spirit of God has still got me in his hands he still Amen. loves me and it's yes, hard to understand with all that I've been through 
how you could still love me. And this Holy Spirit is giving me more power and strength to be able to overcome all obstacles that I wouldn't be able to overcome in the natural. And I'm so grateful that I have found this family and the family has found, found me. And I'm just another one of the tools in a toolbox. I'm just one of the characteristics of the of the family. You know, yes, we yeah. all are part of the body. And I would like to make a um I would like to make a petition, should I say? Okay. That maybe in one of our songs that we could sing one of our favorites. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm talking about. I would like that today. I would like to be lifted in the spirit today and feel his presence and I'll tell you what, it's just over and over. It's just the love of God. It's so flowing. And as new people that if you review this later on and you realize that the love look in each other's eyes and see the love that we have really sincere looking out for each other. And that's what it's all about. Being a part of the body of Christ is yes. being there for each other. You know, even though it might be in different areas, you know, we might be in different states when we come to zoom and we we join together with people all over the world i got a brother that's in nigeria that i've just found and we just we talk all the time together and it's so <laughs> grateful to have that internet internet that we have freedom to be able to share our love and our compassion and talk to somebody and get you know it's not all about us it's about who he is and what he has done Jesus Christ is the son of the living God. He is alive forevermore. And he intercedes at the right hand of God, interceding for us continually. And all we have to do is just give our hearts to him and let him take over the wheel. Amen. Praise Amen. God. Thank you for the time. That was on point. Amen. Anyone else? Any of our guests that come in, if you'd like to introduce yourself, the, the platform, the forum is open. For any comments, anything on your mind you want to share, any questions, anything that's on your heart, if you want to even talk to God, he is he, he is sitting amongst, trust me, he is amongst us now. So uh, the, floor, the floor is open. Uh, ain't always got to be deep, even out there social media. I, mean, I just want to say, because sometimes people think that, or the world make y'all think that us believers got to be all deep. We enjoy, we laugh, because our God laughs too. He created us. If we're made in the image, trust me, he laughs too. So it ain't got to be all deep all the time. You know, live. We all about living, loving, laughing, serving God, help serving and praying for one another. Some of y'all stay up here too much when y'all need to let this, put this in the father's hand so he can show you how to navigate through this. Because some of us have been navigating, living our lives out of our mentality. And guess what? You've been clouded because you don't know who you are and whose you are. Because this is all you decided to know. But see, when you really start to spend time with God, You'll start knowing, as they say, when you know better, what happens? You start doing better mm -hmm. and areas of your life start to get better. Your attitude starts to get better. Your eyesight starts to get better. Your hearing starts to get better. Your talk, your mouth, your tongue starts to get better. Your connections, who you, who you connect to starts to get better. You taking care of yourself starts to get better. God, God wants your whole life. He don't want just one hour a day or one hour out the week where some people think that going to church or being online church on Sundays is that's all God needs or that's all he wants. No. Why would he spend all the time creating you before you even got in a wound if that's all he wanted? If that's the case, he wouldn't even have created you. Any of us. He's such a loving God. He's such a loving God. But some of you have to Get that concept and you got to believe because it's off your faith. If you don't believe, you don't believe. Thanks, <laughs> you know. I'm not going to be, I'm not the type of pastor. I ain't going to beat you in the head. I ain't going to argue the scriptures. I ain't doing none of that. When the Holy Spirit tell me to give the word, I'm going to give you the word. It's on you. What God gives me, hold me accountable. I'm going to bring it to you. You're going to make up in your mind because we at the end times. You're going to make up right now. Those of you out there 
and in the virtual classroom, because sooner or later, you're going to make up in your mind who you're going to serve. You're going to love one and hate the other. So I just advise everybody, since we all still have freedom to choose, you need to think about your whole life real carefully and start to change now. Some of y'all need to implement them. Some of y'all need to get rid of folks now. Some of y'all need to get rid of bad habits now. Some of y'all need to get rid of your talk. Some of y'all talk negatively. Get rid of it now. Some of y'all go to places that you know you shouldn't go. Y'all better stop now. Not no later. Now. Minister Rose. Um, I just wanted to see if somebody can send out the Sister Stacy uh the link because the link that I copied and sent to her is not working. And then I also sent it to uh Brother Raymond and Sister Stan and, and Sister Georgina. And I don't know, I guess it's not working. I don't know what's going on. I, but, uh, I, sent, I sent it. I did send it, Minister Rose. Oh, you so. did? Okay. So, uh, but I sent it, it, um, it out somebody to Somebody sent it to yeah. Brother Raymond. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All send right, it. then. But, <laughs> um, get in social media, we got some uh, partners and members that we just love them. They just love, they, they don't like us to start with. <laughs> well, we already started, but. They're just family, so I know they'll fall in shortly before we get off, but we still have a lot of time. Anyone else? Well, any comments? Any thoughts that I, they want I, to share? I just um, wanted the song been with me all week. Well, it, actually, it started the weekend, and um, if I can get Apostle Robin can sing, um, hold to his hand, God's unchanging hand. And I'm Mr. Rose uh, from Lakeland, Florida. <laughs> <laughs> they get that I said, Lord Jesus, I don't know if I know all the words to that one. Elder Marshall, you might have to help me with that one. Well, I've seen what I Well, let me try to do y'all one better. Let's just find it on YouTube, family. We do not own any rights to any music that will be coming for. Let's do it like that. Because it's. Amen. Amen. Lord have mercy. Who sings it? Oh, to his hand, God's unchanging hand. Build your hope for so the eternal. You got the hope to God's unchanging hand. You got to hold on. You got to hold on. You got to hold on. Build your hopes on things eternal. Just hold oh. to God's unchanging hand. Come on, Sister Sheila. I know there's another course. Okay, there. hold up. What's it? Is it this song? Hold up. We're going. I'm gonna hit it for y'all. I think is it by the <laughs> Chicago Mass Choir. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they song it too. It's a bunch of folks. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's what I'm saying. Which one y'all want? But let's see with this one. Let's see. I... Chicago Mass Choir be good. Because okay. <laughs> it, it was made in the 1800s. I think it's the 1890. Way back when. Yeah. Y'all hear it? Turn it up a little bit more. That's it. Oh yeah, that's it. No, 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 she say what? Oh. oh my goodness. Yes. Yeah. 
No, you won't. Sister Pat and them have a, a, a what they call a podcast on Saturdays, every other Saturday oh, anyway. Like and um, mm-hmm. that they were talking about hope. And that yeah. song came up and it just been in my spirit ever since they were talking about that. Oh, oh it's in mine's now where they put it on my playlist. Mm-hmm. I, 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 I said, you I, took us way I, back. Oh, you took us way, way back. back. Y'all, I'll be in there tomorrow <laughs> way back again. Oh, no. yes. It's like, Teresa must be Amen. happy over there. Yeah. Hold up. It's like, we, I can have my earphones in. Mm-hmm. Say my hope is built on nothing less. Yeah, I think about that one too. Hallelujah. In Jesus' blood and righteousness. Y'all better hold Amen. on to God's unchanging. You got to hold on. That's it. That's it. Amen. 
You got to hold on. Anyone hold else? Go to go, his go, hand. Go, 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 I won't forget. I got to put the I'm changing I'm hands. I got to make sure Big when I'm listening in the morning, don't work. Boy, help me get through. Oh, yes. God, I'm holding on to your unchanging hand. Hey, yes. Hallelujah. What an awesome God we serve. We got some uh, more the apostles that Bible came in and prophet is saying, welcome, welcome. It's a little different from meet and greet. We just, the form is open. Whatever you want to share, whatever you want to say, you are Are you going to sing that song? Huh? Are you, are you going to sing that song? Are you going to get this thing going? Come on, I want to hear you sing this song. You know what I mean. Come on. What's up? Uh, oh, the other, oh, oh, the, um, he's talking about the African song. Oh, he's snitch. talking about that one. Yes, uh, that's what he wants. Right, let me put that mm. one on. Okay. I, all right, but don't let me he forget to sing. <laughs> no, yeah, because I, yeah, my people's made me sing it. So I had to, I gotta <laughs> sing it. Y'all, uh, don't make me, don't let me forget because to put it on my playlist because I'm gonna need that for tomorrow going to work. God's unchanging hand. I have it on the tablet. Mm -hmm. So I know which, um, it came from Chicago Choir. But let me mm -hmm. let me get that song for uh well look why I'm look why I'm all pumped up and happy. Let me get it for uh Brother Bud because I already have that. Yeah. Yeah. People, people are coming in now. Let's go with that. Amen. All right, I'm, let me let me go with it. Okay, bro. Here we go. Come on. Don't put me on the spot. <laughs> put me on the spot. Okay, here it is. Come on. She got it. She got it right in her playlist. That's all Praise she got to do. God, it. hallelujah. <laughs> Can y'all hear it? Jerusalem, Jerusalem, Bill on the lose, who humble dami, zugange shenge lana, da woyami, ale kolana, buso wawi, ale kolana. Bill on the lose, zuhambe dami, da woyami, ale kolana. Boo, so wawi, ale kolana. Bill on the lose, zoo, humbe dami. Bill on the lose, bill on the lose, bill on the lose, zoo, gangwe shenge lana. Be <laughs> Woyami, Ali Kolana, Boo so wawi, Awa Kolana, Gil on the Lose, Sue, Yes. Hallelujah, God. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Zugangi shinge lana, da woyami, ale kolana, buso wawi, ale kolana. 
Lord Jesus. Jesus. Heal on the Lord's day. Who put the words to it and he who interpreted it to English. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's why you got to let God know. You got to let him know. He loves it. Praise God. Got to let him know. Amen. Hey, God. Hallelujah. Heal on the Lord's day. Hallelujah. Come on. Oh. Oh. What you're telling God is to guard me, but don't leave me here. That's what it says. Hallelujah. Don't leave me. He said, me somebody to my home, but I couldn't find it when I clicked yeah, on I see it. I don't know where he says. Yeah, I see it. It's in the chat. It's in the chat no more. I don't know what happened to it. our home. But she was like, our home is back here. It has the words to it. I'm going to have to send it to you. Yeah, I just need it. I need it. It was mm -hmm. in my chat. Praise God. It is beautiful. It ain't Praise in mine God. no more. I tried to look for it, but it was in there. Praise God. Yeah. Oh, who put the words? Yep. That's what it says. Yeah. My place mm -hmm. is not here. My kingdom is not here. Yep. Save me and walk with me. Yep. Mm -hmm. Jerusalem is my home. Yep. Yeah, mm -hmm. yep. yep. oh, thank you. Perfect. Yeah, that's right. Yep. Perfect. Yeah. What are y'all saying? Praise I know. God. It's in the chat. Hallelujah. It's not in my chat. I'm looking. Well, 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 make sure it is. Somebody, somebody, look, somebody copy I, it and paste it and send it to I'm my message. I'm working on it. I'm just working highlight on it. And just highlight it. all of that and then um copy it and then send it to Minister Rose and Messenger. She'll get it. Uh, Praise yeah. God. Uh, Hallelujah. In my story you. already. Praise God. Amen. There it is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's getting ready to come. All right. Amen. Thank you, Brother Bud. Man, the Marshall, Apostle Robin. Everybody got saw. Everybody was saved since Sunday. It's okay, coming. Okay, now everybody can introduce themselves, but we ain't got Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Praise, Praise God. Jesus. Hallelujah. We're just all over the place. Holy Spirit. We are. Amen. We are. We are. We are. We are. Let me introduce myself. I'm Apostle Robin Riley. I'm from Grand Rapids, <laughs> Michigan, born and raised here. I'm just excited to be here, excited what God is doing through each and every one of our lives, and just love the meet and greets where you can get to learn a little bit more about um, the administrators and the moderators. So if you have any questions for us on tonight, feel free to come on and ask us, if, and we'll jump on in there and, and answer what we can, and if we can't, we'll bump them off each other and, and and do that amen so and like elder marshall said he's in michigan as well we had really good weather today i was like okay is this the calm before the storm i said because tomorrow we might get snow <laughs> so, <laughs> so we enjoyed today it was 71 it got up to 71 so i was like I think it was warm everywhere today Mm -hmm. right, yeah, because it was 64 down here in Baltimore. Okay, all right. Yeah. But it was raining and it started to get rain. Soon as it hot rain. It hot oh rain. lord, that's what they said. St. Louis, it was warm up there, it, and then in uh, Detroit too, they said it was warm. Yeah, yeah I opened the door. I ain't turning the air. Well, I right there the in Detroit, so I guess it'd be warm in Detroit since it warm in Grand Rapids and Flint. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I heard mm -hmm. it was warm in Detroit too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Speaking of Detroit, where is the uh, apostle, uh, Kim? I have no idea on tonight. Mom, girl. <laughs> well, anyway, anything, anybody on their heart you want to discuss, you want to ask any of the leadership or um, just conversation. Something that you, you know, just want to share, you thought about, you heard about, anything. We're here to just um, iron sharpens iron and to just uh, enjoy one another. Amen. 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 Good evening, Saint. My, my name is Cecilia, Cecilia Moore. Um, Welcome, Miss Moore. Thank you very much. Um, 
I've been on here, but I've just been quiet. <laughs> um, well, you ain't yeah, quiet. I know, I know. He um been um invite me to these groups and I've just been coming in, just sitting in them, you know, just observing basically. And um I've been enjoying y'all. Um Praise I've been you. listening to y'all as well, um, talking about Christ. I'm from Flint, Michigan also. Oh. Um, um I'm I'm married. Um I have three children. Amen. All grown. Thank God for Jesus. I have three grandchildren. I know, I know that's right. Um, I was involved in a bad car crash last year. Mm. I almost lost my life, actually. Um, mm. Mm. Guy okay. had ran a red light. Smacked me right on the corner of Clio Pearson Road. I had a 2016 Chevy Malibu um, mm. at the time. And I had my niece in the car with me. And I'm so I'm just so thankful to God and I'm going to be honest with you. I always as a young child believed in Christ, but Amen. I'm just like the rest. I'm not perfect. I have my good days, I have my bad days. <laughs> um oh and I don't know us. I don't went astray on Christ and then came back to Christ. As well, and I'm thankful that I did. I lost my sister four years ago, tragically. And I was so angry, and I just... I, I left church, I left everything, period. And last year, I decided to go back to one of my old churches, and I felt that was the best thing that I could have done. And... What I've been doing, I've been doing actually as a, like I've been telling people, I'm trying to get so close to Christ till I can kiss him. I know that's right. <laughs> that's where I'm at with the situation, okay? Mm -hmm. I have been through so much traumatic things in my life from men to, you know, to death to you name it, I done been there. Drugs, all that. Mm -hmm. And I'm just thankful today for change. Because mm -hmm. I tell you, if I was, if I wasn't where I am today, if I was like I was back then, I would be sleeping in a grave. Bottom line. Okay. Man. I'm just thankful for change. I'm thankful to have God in my life again. Amen. I'm thankful that for all the invitations that I get, for all the scriptures Praise that God. I receive. Amen. I wake up in the morning. I pray every morning. I pray every night before I go to bed. And usually I sit up and like Okay, I'm just going to read this scripture and call it a day. Okay, I'm just going to read this scripture and call it a day. No, things done changed with me. I'm starting to read a page a day. Praise mm -hmm. God. Mm -hmm. And I'm hoping to pray to God someday I wind up reading a whole book a day. But I'm just, I'm just trying to get my stuff together with God, just trying to be around good people, get to know people so I can good. strengthen myself in the Lord as well. Yeah. And just looking for good people to be around. And I'm glad that Praise I started God. socializing with y'all. I'm glad Hallelujah. that you put me in this group, Elder Marshall. Thank you very much for inviting Praise me. Praise God. Yes, Hallelujah. it is. And believe me, I am a strong believer of Christ, but at the same time, I'm still work in progress. I'm still Jesus. work in progress. Amen. We all are working for all Amen. Praise God. Glad to have you, sis. Praise God. Amen. 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 Glad to be here with y'all. Praise God. Powerful testimony. Power. Amen. We are so fortunate. Amen. So fortunate. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. I can bear witness with you about a car accident. I can bear witness with you. Amen. God has brought Thank me you, from a mighty long way. 
And I came out with some bruises, but I thank God. That's all I came yeah. out with, with bruises. Yeah. I didn't care Lord, about God. the bruises. I didn't care about the car. I did not Praise care. God. Walked for 10 months. I had got so upset the other day. I said, Lord, it was it was it was two weeks ago. They both Valentine's Day. I said, Lord, I'm so tired of walking. I got bad knees now. I got a bad back. And I was walking with my eight-year-old grandson and my five-year-old granddaughter. Church eight blocks up from my home. And I walked up to the church. They asked me, did I want to ride? I said, no, I walked back home, still praying. I wind up going the next day. I wind up finding wow. me. Praise you, Jesus. Praise you. God is so good. Yes, yeah. Hallelujah. Glory, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, oh. Two months I done been through this. My Praise husband God. got a defibrillator on his heart, you know. He used to drink this stuff. He gave his life to Christ. He's been clean for almost a year. Amen. I am so grateful. Y'all just don't know my life has been my life has done a thousand and fifty degree change and wonder why I want to oh my God. Mm. So glad you're here. So glad yes. you're here. Amen. Each of us have something that we share together and strengthen one another. That's what it's all about. We're family. Amen. We're family. Amen. Amen. And God is so proud of you because you keep holding <clears throat> you keep holding your head up high and holding on to his unchanging hand through it all. Because it's back, <laughs> trust me, it's more beyond the physical. Is more beyond the trials and tribulations. So you Amen. obviously yeah. got that lesson yeah. in the spirit realm. See, some people yeah. don't normally get that lesson, and they get they let they they let the natural distract them so much, and then they live their life out of the natural instead of you really getting into the spiritual and seeing beyond that. Because as I always say, in the end, we win. And plus, God knows how much you can bear. So he knows you can bear this. And also, Amen. there are some areas that he wants you to give to him. Because he wants you to understand that you're not carrying it alone. He would never just deliberately let you carry stuff alone. Because he said in his word, you cast your cares upon him because he loves you and he cares about you. And Amen. see, we have to really believe in, and, and really acknowledge that the way we love. Because we're in this uh, this earth suit is yeah. nowhere compatible to how he loves just mm -hmm. like his time is not our time see we go by the clock but he always on time so but he, lo he loves you with a love that you just can't even imagine so you continue to take it my sister one day at a time one step at a time keep moving forward never going backwards and giving up as I say, and they know, and I put it and pray in them, and I'm putting it in you, and we'll speak it into your spirit. Giving up is not an option. Amen. You're going to be here until God is finished, until you are cultivated to do what he is called to do. So only two things going to happen. You won't be here on your life journey until he come back and get you. Mm -hmm. Real simple. I have, and I believe that for over their lives and my own lives, my family lives, because whatever God you didn't you're not going through and you haven't been through all of that for nothing trust me it's not in vain right he don't play them type of games he don't just be like oops i'm just going to do this and see how they react oops i'm going to make Praise them Jesus. in a car accident and see how they you know he don't play them type of games he loves right. us he, and he proved that when he gave his son so he don't play right. with our lives exactly. he don't play with our spiritual lives and don't let nobody tell you and don't you let the enemy try to get into you amen fear to tell you mm -hmm. otherwise because I know it'd be hard here get in there and say I don't know why you still struggling I'm why you listening to them people <laughs> God don't love you why is he letting all this happen to you mm -hmm. see those are the things of the enemy that's right if he, if he really right. loved you he wouldn't have let it happen see he wants you to go back and forth and be you know uh, de indecisive do God really love me I don't think he really loved me. See, the enemy once did. No, he said in his word. He said in his word. So it's no great area in God's word at all when it comes to loving, chastising, growing us up, just like how as parents we take care of our children. 
And right. guess what? That's Them true. tears are good. Amen. Are good because every time you tear, every time you cry, what you're doing is cleansing your natural as well as your spirit out. And, and then you grow. Because you know how a good cry make you feel real good. It does. It, 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 it makes you feel real good. It does. Sometimes you all need a good cry. And so it releases, takes care of the, the um, natural toxins and, and it releases those weights. But see, you got to remind yourself, once you release those weights, you can't pick them back up either. That's right. Because it's the reason why, God, we have a moment of crying or we just need a moment to move stuff and people out the way. Can't pick it back up. But we love you here as soldiers and we're so grateful you chose to spend time with us this mm -hmm. evening. Could have been and anywhere. I'm glad to be God here. Where you needed to be. And we are so honored. And we are so, I am just so Amen. glad. I'm glad to have you. You don't know how much you're yeah. helping me. And I'm glad I don't look like how I feel today. Amen. 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 Elder Marsh, you got your hand up. God bless. It was something that uh, she, meant, she uh, said that stuck on my spirit. When she mentioned about when she lost uh, her sister, how she got angry with God because of her situation because she lost her sister. What I'm trying, what I, what stood out so many times, we don't understand why God, how God works, and we when we don't understand how God works, we get. We get dysfunction. But then we want to blame, put the blame on God for doing certain things that he already know what was best. Mm -hmm. We have to understand God knows what's best for us. We sometimes want to be selfish and hold on to things that God is trying to separate or to remove. Just like I told one of my coworkers, I said, we have, we have to let go. People want to hold on to people's suffering in the world. Mm -hmm. When they suffering, they be ready to go home. We get selfish and want to hold on to the individual and not knowing the individual is ready to go home. Mm -hmm. And the last couple of days, in the last week or so, I have uh, comfort one, one, one co-worker because she lost her brother. Then, then a, a friend of mine that I've been knowing went home to be with the Lord. And like I told them, like I told each one of them, uh, the young man that I've been sending texts to, I told his brother, don't pray for him to be here suffering. Mm -hmm. We have to understand when we 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 have to understand that God knows what's what's best. And we pray, we pray, we pray selfish prayers for people to stay here on earth suffering through them pains, suffering. And we have to understand, God is not hearing our prayers. They hear the prayer of the suffering. Mm -hmm. And the young man, the people that's suffering is ready to go home. So God don't hear their prayers. But what stuck out, that's what stuck out to me because we get angry at God for doing what's best. We shouldn't, we shouldn't put the blame on God. We should accept God's will. Because it says in his word, it says, let thy will be done. Mm -hmm. Jesus said, let thy will be done. Mm -hmm. And so many times we want to go against God's will, but he already knows what's best for us. We can't get angry when God does something. We pray, we pray, we pray, we pray for God. We pray for certain things. We pray for certain things. Healing, deliverance. And sometimes they don't come as fast as they, we want them to come. So now we want to get angry at God because he is not moving on our time. Mm -hmm. He's not moving when we want him to move. 
we have to understand we can't we can't we can't make God move. We God gonna move when He's ready to move. God gonna deliver when He's ready to deliver you. God's gonna heal you when He's ready to heal you. Amen. Don't get angry because God is not moving on your time. So I just want to, that, that that just stuck out when when my sister said that. You know, I've been knowing her almost ten years or so. That day we used to go to the same fellowship at Damascus Holy Life Baptist Church. Mm -hmm. We used to fellowship together in, in to there and things. And I'm so glad to see her. You know, yes, I I, mm -hmm. I know her testimony. I used to pick her up in the church van and, and bring her back and forth to church and all that. I I know her stuff. And I know, and I know when she said what she said, she was for real. She did yeah. turn away and got angry at God. She did turn away and, and, mm -hmm. and, and left the flock because of what happened. But we have to understand God is a God of, 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 of deliverance. He is a God of mercy. He is a God of love. He is yes, a God is. of understanding. He is a God of, of grace. But we have to know his grace is specific for us. So we just have to be patient. So that's mm -hmm. all I had to say. It was just on my spirit. Well, that you're absolutely right. But see, God already knew you was. But see, you needed to at that particular moment when you um, got angry with God. That needed to happen. If you think back, it needed to happen because you probably were suppressing stuff. And guess what? God's shoulders are strong enough to handle a whole lot. So you getting a little upset with Him? That don't hurt Him. They ain't scratch Him. Not at yeah. all. You needed that to happen because that was part of an awakening. See, a lot of times people be trying to, and the world has painted this picture of, in a sense, when you're coming to God, you got to be all timid and scared. Don't say nothing. Or don't don't act that way. He's going to zap you. Don't, don't. And see, all of a sudden, you just taught to have a certain, and, you know, demeanor or quote unquote, we're in the press. And God already know you being fake, phony, and plastic. He know he know because he looks at the heart and see what he does. Mm -hmm. And when situations happen, he wants you to acknowledge it. He already know. He's waiting for you to acknowledge. Because sometimes we need to hear our own voice and say, "I'm angry, Lord, at you." Mm -hmm. You need to hear those words yourself, even though God already see the words in your heart. He mm -hmm. already see you're angry with him. And see, Amen. once we hear it and see it, then it then he puts the mirror in front of you for you to look at you. And then he sits beside you and y'all work together on okay. Right. Now let's get rid of this anger. That's right. Let's let's deal with because you're growing. Because right. that was a stop, that was a stopping place. That was a crossroad. He's like, okay, now my daughter, it's time to grow past it. Continue to obey me. Strive to obey me. He already know you're going to mess up. I be telling folks, stop being all deep. You're going to make mistakes. But see, when you acknowledge it, that's part of growth. Some of y'all who act like y'all don't make mistakes, you know what I'm saying? All you're doing is hindering your own, you're stumping your own growth. Or you're trying to okay. act like you got it all together. You're stumping your own growth. That's too much work. That's putting on a mask. That's too much work. Stop that's acting right. like you're perfect. That's right. Too much work. I if tell the world. If your loved ones or somebody hurt you, you hurt. Acknowledge the pain. Pain is a good motivator and it's a good growth stimulator too if you know how to deal with it the correct way. Yes. You will grow. I'm telling you and God and God will be right there cheering you on. Because it's like a relationship. Just like human to human relationship. Friends get upset with each other. Husbands and wives get upset with each other. But once after the moment of being upset passes, you should be able to come back together, just like as we fellowship, come back together in love. Amen. And then when y'all come together in love and analyze the situation, sometimes both of y'all may say, you know what, now, aren't we silly? Well, that, that just was plain silly to be oh, wow. upset or just angry, but that was just silly. Or you acknowledge yeah, you when you acknowledge that your weak area, that's the part of the Holy Spirit. Now you you have said that now you're trusting you you bringing all your brokenness to the Holy Spirit and God and he and he and he covers you and that's that peace that is beyond guess what your understanding because see to the world 
because of your loss and tragedy, you're supposed to be busted and disgusted. But for some apparent reason, you got so much peace in this glow about you. And you're still able to get up every morning and handle your business. See, that confuses the enemy. Mm -hmm. God loves all of us. And he loves all of us immensely, even through the trials and tribulations. But see, he gave us this one thing that he's not taking back. And that is freedom of choice. You're going to choose either to stay mad or not. Either you're going to go forward or go backwards. Either you're going to love God or love or hate the devil, or you're going to love the devil and hate God. Amen. See, it's no way around that. See, some of us and some of you out there, social media, y'all be trying to get past that decision making. Like when y'all go in the prayer, y'all want God to do everything. God is not going to do everything. Matter of fact, he already done it when he gave Christ. He some He's sitting on the throne with some of y'all like, okay, when y'all going to do something? When, Cause he's looking at the heart. When when that heart gonna grow? When you going? When that heart gonna come out of that 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 toddler stage? When you gonna be ready to talk to me and acknowledge and um be who you are? What I and, and let's talk about who you really are that I created and stop running around running behind people and thinking what Mama said and Uncle Bobo said and all this and what they done put in you since you was a child that that's who you is. When you gonna be ready to grow up? According to me and, and, and the spirit when you gonna grow up that's what god waiting on and he's waiting on a lot of you out there social media to just yeah, grow, yeah. Up. grow up your life will be so much better and some of y'all won't be making the decisions and doing crazy stuff and all that hemming and hawing and you won't be letting the devil just take your blessings because you'll know how to fight when you are ready to grow up and you won't let people just use you and walk over top of you when you gonna grow up for those of you out there that say you love the Lord, that's all I'm saying. Those of you who say that you have a relationship with you, with him, time mm -hmm. to grow up. But then times, we ain't got no time. Jesus come back soon. Brother Bud, you on mute? I'm always on mute. <laughs> Praise God. Sister, I just want to share with you how great our God is. You know, in Psalms 56, 8, talks about that he collects our tears in a bottle. He knows every sorrow that we go through. And then in Psalm 147, whenever you get discouraged and realize that how big is my God, it says here in 147, and it says he tells he tells the, he tells the number of the stars. He's got them counted. And he calls each of them by name. Every one of those stars in the universe is counted. When I came to that conclusion of that verse, that made me realize how great and a mighty God we serve. We're just like a little ant compared to God. And he's watching over. He knows when that sparrow falls from the tree. He knows everything about us. He knows the thoughts, even while we're sitting here, that we're thinking we might be somewhere completely in another world. But he knows our thoughts before we even think them. And when we look up to the stars and realize that every one of those stars is counted, we can look at constellations and we can try to figure out the patterns in the sky. But to count every one of them stars and know that every one of them has a name that God has named. That is the great and mighty God that we serve today. And he's awesome. Amen. Thank you. Amen. Anyone else? Is that brother Tyrone up there? You know me? Amen. 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 I love y'all. Be y'all too. Nothing y'all can do about it. Amen. But love me back. I just want to say, my friends, you know, I think about 10 years ago when I turned 50 years old and I gave my life to the Lord. I didn't know it was going to be this beautiful, but, you know, I tell you, that day, before I gave my life to the Lord, I look at my life before then. When I hear the gospel being preached, it was like, you remember how mom used to say, when I just told you, just went in one ear and out the other. And that's what it was. When my grandmother used to preach to me, I used to hear preachers. I hear people saying, go to church and all that. It like went in one ear and out the other. But now, as I know that I died to, my, to the world and to myself, I don't want the world no more. And I gave my heart 
all my 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 all my just my whole life I just started seeking the Lord. Like he said, seek me. I didn't know he said seek me, but as I learned now, as I gave my whole life to the to to know get to know about the gospel, to get to know about God, my grandmother used to tell me about. So as I got to do this, I I, I turned myself to to listening to the word. And God, I guess he only he can know my desires of what I really want. And I see now that when I hear the gospel, I love it. And it's blessing my life. It's blessing me every day. It's like, you know, you know how we used to listen to the oldie but goodie songs and we we in the flesh, we in the sinful nature, we we dance with it. That's how I feel when I hear the gospel, when it's being preached, when it's being shared, you know. I feel like you know, it's part. It's it's my life now, and it, and I'm telling you, I experienced so much in this world, and nothing has pleased me much as this gospel has. Nothing in this world has satisfied myself. You know, satisfied me. You know, just just knowing where I am, where I'm at, where 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 the the understanding that God has given me, and I know it's only coming. It only can come from Him. That's why He said, "Get understanding," and only He can reveal the gospel. And I tell you, my friends, I know that it's the work of God. I know it's, it's because I choose now to seek him. He said, seek me with all your heart, soul, strength, and understand, and you will find me. If you search with me with all your heart, soul, strength, and understand. And I see now that as I, I didn't know I was doing it, but as I know that I, I laid my life down and gave it to the gospel, it's, it's powerful, my friends. How every day now, I just go page to page like I'm on here now. I I, I, I was just on uh, two other lines at the same time. My wife said, how can you hear each one of them what they saying? I said, because I meditate on the gospel. I, I live in the gospel. I feel the gospel in my soul, my heart. And as I as I hear one preacher preaching about this and I hear another one preaching about that, that's all I got to hear is, the, is, is what they're speaking about. Matthews or all the way from Revelation to Genesis. I mean, from Genesis to Revelation. I, that's all I got to hear is what they're speaking about. And I know I'm already there. Amen. That's why I'm telling you. And it's just desire, the desire you have, my friends, to feel what it is God is in every word that you hear. That's why it's, it's, you know the Lord is with you. The Spirit is with you. Because when you rejoicing in the words you hear, when you're blessed with the words you hear, when you get joy from listening to the, the preacher, the gospel that my grandmother preached all my young life, and now I, I'm having joy in the Lord, joy in his words, joy in his commands. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, yes, Lord. And I never knew how to say hallelujah, but I have reasons now to say hallelujah because I hear what the Spirit is saying to the churches. Oh, yes, Praise Lord. Hey, and man. I tell you, my friends, oh, yes, Lord. Oh, yes, Lord. I can hear and I've get fed the gospel. It blesses my heart every day to hear the word of God. It blesses me every day when I turn my CDs on and I listen to it going to work and going home because I'm telling you, it brings me joy to hear what the Father has to say to me and to hear the Spirit and how much love His Son had for the Father. Oh, yes, Lord. Oh, yes, Lord. The God. Praise son that God. Came from Praise heaven. God. He came down. And you got to understand when you can hear and understand the love He had for His Father in heaven. And now we get to love Him like that. Oh, yes, Lord. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, we get to love him. We get to touch his heart. Oh, yes, Lord. You don't worry about being blessed by material things, but you get to bless the living God by the way you live. Oh, yes, Lord. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, touch. Oh, you feel a touch oh, of the Lord. Brother Tyrone is in the oh, realm. Oh, yes, Lord. I'm he is in touched. the realm. I never felt so blessed. And so love. Oh, yes. I know we look for love all over the world, but you won't be able to find it in the world. You'll find it when you seek the Lord with all your heart. The God, the Spirit, a mighty glory spirit, a powerful fire. Oh, yes, Lord. Oh, Thank yes, you. Lord. The splendor of God is fire, my friends. Fire down from heaven. 
Oh, yes, Lord. The strength of God is so great. That's why he can't, you can't see him face to face, but you can feel him every day. Oh, the strength yes. of the mighty God. Oh, the consuming fire, the consuming blessing, oh, Lord. Oh, consume me, oh, Lord. Consume Please, me God. from heaven, oh, Lord, forever. Oh, you have consumed my heart. You have Thank blessed you, my Jesus. life forever. And I say hallelujah Ooh, for loving hallelujah, me, Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. We Amen. thank you, brother. Amen. Amen. We thank you. Thank you. Thank you, brother Tyron. Hopefully, social media, this has blessed you. But our Thanks, time God. is up. Look at time done flew by, I tell you. But God is wow. faithful. Even though the time that he says for here, but he's always with us together and separately. So we hope that for those of you that will Praise view this quick, quick video later, and those of you um, that missed us this month, again, Soldiers on Fire for Christ, we have our meet and greet every uh, 4th and 5th Tuesday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And we really, our hearts desire and prayer, prayerfully that you will just, all you have to do is send any of the leadership team or myself you can um, message us in our Facebook Messenger, and all we need is your email address to send you the link to join us here at our meet and greet to talk with any of the leadership team, the members, the partners Thanks that come, um, come in with us. And because um, we're all about sharpening, help serving, and praying for God's people here. But again, like I said Thanks in the beginning, God. that we do have... Um, Every Thursday night, we have a prayer call at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and we have Bible study twice. So it's no excuse why you ain't getting no tools. We have Bible study every Friday and Saturday unless we have our dis panel discussions because we have a men's panel discussion. We have a women's panel discussion, and then we combine them two. We have men and women panel discussions every other month. So there's no reason why you cannot come out from the comfort of your home. Don't let a button come between you and God where you will not Amen. fellowship God's people. And guess what? We're all over the world. Oh, the gospel is being God. Hallelujah. So we look forward to you out there, social media. And of course, those in my virtual classroom, they are always faithful enough to give up their time to um, praise Jesus. Join us. I mean, you know, we all come together to give up our time as well as with God, because God is on the platform. But we are we have to be mindful of each other time because we're still in this flesh and we still have our responsibilities to do. So with all of that being said, um, let's wow. see, Minister Isaiah, will you just close us out in prayer? And again, thank social you, media, we thank you in advance for viewing. Uh, yeah. um, and hopefully, like I said, just come and reach out to any of us and come over and check out the group Soldiers on Fire for Christ. And all the advertisement is posted there. Our minister, Rose Christine Jackson, is faithful to make sure that it's pinned up and um, that it's out there. And so we would just love for you. Don't be shy. We right. just we would love. Like I said, don't you let a button come between you and God and you wanting a fellowship. So it's, it's time for us to come out this excuse because there's no reason why now. Despite of what's going on in the world and churches have closed down permanently, guess what? We are the church. It's not about a baby. Hallelujah. We church. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Minister Amen. Isaiah. Yes. It's this um it's this song that goes into prayer before you go into prayer. I will I just do a partial of it because I don't know the whole thing. Maybe somebody might know it. It's called Hold on, let me get the thing out. It's got to look on YouTube. Uh, see, I try to look it up, but uh, I'm just going to say parts of it, then go into prayer, because I don't know the whole thing. I might butcher it, but it, it said, call him up and tell Jesus what the problem is. Call him up, he will lend you an air. Just call him up, he will take away your hurt and fear. That's the only part I know, but um, I'm going to go into prayer. So I want to take note of that in case y'all know it. Amen. I was trying to find Amen, it. bro. <laughs> Amen. Let us go Amen. Amen. I'm going to find it for us. Amen. Praise God. Dear Lord, Father God, I thank you once again, Father God, for gathering us all here together, Father God. Yes, God. Here on meet and greet, Father God, that you have all your children, Father God, here, that we was able to touch each other's heart and minds, Father God, and give each other comfort and understanding, Father God. 
Father God, I thank you for the young lady who got on the day, the night, Father God, and told us the things she went through, Father God. But it just brought you closer to her. That brought her closer to you, Father God. Father God, I ask you to be with her, Father God. Continue to be with her, Father God. Continue to be with her in her growth, Father God. That you touch every pain in her physical body and her physical mind and touch her heart, Father God. And show her how much you've got love you have for her, Father God. Father God, let her know she have a family behind her now, Father God. Yes. Yeah, Elder Marshall, Father God. Yeah, Minister Risa, Father God. You got Prophet Robert, Father God. You got Minister Rose, Father God. You got Brother Brother Bud, Father God. And Minister Bud Fonzetta, who will be back with us soon, Father God. Yes. And myself, Father God. And just let her know, Father God, that she has family here, Thank Father you, God. Jesus. We be here with, for her anytime she wants to be with us or talk to anyone, Father God. She'll never be alone, yes, Father God. God. Father God, I say to each and every member out here, Father, I just keep praying, keep the faith, keep the strength, and keep delivering your word, Father God. Wow. And that will be pleasing in your sight, Father God. I say this in your son, precious name, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Wow. Amen. Praise God. Yes.